Do you need a tablet to complete this course? No, you really don't. Lots of people draw just fine using a mouse, and some actually prefer it. This is the kind of tablet I'm using. It's a Wacom Intuos 3. It's several years old now, and mine is a little dirtier than this one. But depending on the kind of tablet and the type of stylus you use, there are a few features in Illustrator that are not available when using a mouse only. So let's take a look at those. I'm going to take the brush tool and then choose this 20 point round calligraphic brush and draw a stroke with my mouse. Now I'll switch to the stylus and tablet and draw a similar stroke. And you can see that there's not much difference between them. But if I double click on the brush to bring up its options, we have some more choices. You can see these three drop down menus here that give you choices about how to control the brush. The first field is the angle, but I have a perfectly round shape so the angle isn't going to really matter. So I'll go down to roundness. And under this drop down menu, I can choose whether the brush setting is fixed, whether it's random, or whether it responds to the pressure I put on my pen. So I'm going to choose pressure and then I'll change the roundness setting to 60%. Over here in the Variation slider, I can turn that all the way up, and you can see now that this is a preview of how the brush might look. So on the left is an oval shape, on the right is a completely round shape, and in the middle is about halfway in between. And that setting, that variation setting, means that it's going to vary 40% in either direction. So on the left is a 20% round brush, and on the right is 100% round, and in the middle is the 60. The diameter setting is similar, and you can choose to use pressure again, or if your pen has a stylus wheel, you can use that. And some pens respond to tilt, bearing, and rotation. I'm going to set mine on pressure again, and turn up the variation to 18 points. So I have a 20 point brush, and with an 18 point variation setting, that means that the smallest it will go is 2 points, and the biggest brush size will be 38 points. That's 18 points plus 20. Now that I've changed the roundness of the brush, I can also change the angle. I'll put it at 60 degrees and then change the setting to pressure again, and then turn up the variation so that when I press harder or softer on my brush, that will change as well. Now when I click OK, I get a warning message saying that I already have strokes in my document that have this brush applied. So since I've changed the settings on it, Illustrator is asking me if I want to keep those brush strokes the way they are, or if I want to apply these settings to the ones that are already existing. And I'll go ahead and click Apply to Strokes. I'll delete these two strokes right now, and start over with my tablet, and I'm pressing very lightly, and then harder, and then changing the pressure as I draw, and you can see how that is affecting the stroke. So it has more of a natural look, just as if you were working with a real brush where you're increasing the pressure and pulling back on it for thinner strokes. Another difference that you'll see with a stylus and a tablet is when you're using a bristle brush. I'll choose this one here from my brushes panel and start drawing with the mouse. Now I'll change to my tablet and stylus, and you can see a little preview of the brush next to the brush cursor. It's easier to see when you have a thicker stroke, so I'll double click the brush and increase its size. Again, I'll click Apply to Strokes, and now you can see that preview next to my brush cursor. And this helps you get an idea of how the tilt and the bearing and the rotation of the brush are going to affect the brush stroke. So those are two things that are really an advantage to using a tablet and a stylus, but it's not absolutely necessary that you have one. And in fact, you can get some of these same effects by using width profiles, and we'll see that in an upcoming lesson.